set out to design our floating dock system, we did so with three objectives in mind. One, it had to be easy in, easy out. You, the user, had to be able to install this by yourself with little or no help and relatively quickly. Two, it had to be rugged and dependable. Uh, you don't want to have things break when you go to use them. The boating season's short. Uh, it had to work the first time and every time. And three, it had to be priced right. Uh, we weren't going to be going through a big dealer network. We were going to do things smart, simple, so that we could save you money. So one of the biggest design considerations of floating docks is how do you secure this thing to the bottom? And uh, we think we came up with a great idea. If we look over here, we have a leg holder welded in each corner of our modular frames. In each leg holder, we can go a post. Uh, right now we have this post locked in the up position so we can float it into place, hook it to the previous section, drop it down, and then auger it down in. Now if you look down here on the bottom, we have these augers. They connect to the bottom of the post. Uh, we drop the post, stick a rod to the top, screw it down in. That's where it stays for the season. If you're in a spot where you had to take it out in the fall, you just reverse path on the way back through, uh, lock it up in the up position, and then float it back to shore. So let me show you how it works. Loosen the set bolt and nut, get it right out of the way. That drops down in. Got a rod, you stick to the top. You can really use anything that's uh, fairly rigid. From there, we're just going to start cranking it in. You'll see, it's down fairly quickly without much effort. And there you have it. Now the dock is set up and ready to go for the season. As you can see, the dock just rides up and down on those piles. It allows for water fluctuations up and down. Typically there's no permitting needed for a setup like this because we're not bringing in any barges, we're not driving permanent piles. It's considered a temporary structure even though for some cases you're going to be leaving it in all year round. For our customers in the north, we know that we have another problem we have to deal with and that's ice. So unlike our customers in the south where you can put it in once and be done with it, our northern customers have to take these in and out every year. So to remove the dock, it's really quite easy, it's still a one person job, it's just a matter of a reversing process from what we did in the spring. So remember we have augers on the bottom, we crank down in to set it, now we're just going to reverse back out, raise up the pile and then float it back to shore. There you have it. We have it locked in the upright position. Back to shore we go. This dock has got to be rugged so that you, the user, never have to replace it, never have to repair anything. One of the ways that we made it rugged was the way we have our leg holders tied to the side trusses. So if we pull back the deck panel and go in here and look, you can see that we have these bars welded to the leg holders, which is welded to each side stringer, also welded to that. So the stresses are evenly distributed. If anything tugs on here, it's being felt over there, and it would be impossible to break any of these welds. One of the main reasons our customers choose to go with Bestmate is because of the versatility in our design. And a big part of that versatility comes from our quick clips and our track system. You see here we have our quick clips. We have one, two, three, four for a floating truss dot connection. What these are doing is these are positively clamping these two surfaces together in four spots. That makes for a very rigid connection. The nice thing about these clamps is that they can be utilized in our track system which runs around the entire frame. What that means for you, the user, is that you could basically come up with any layout that you want. Uh, if you want to connect them side to side, end to end, if you want to tee off, anything you can dream up, we can usually do it using these guys right here.